Good morning, y'all. Good morning, Shaw. It's 8.30 a.m. It is Saturday, February 13th, 2021. I'm going to let you know what I think about it, but this should improve my video editing process. Currently, it's 24 degrees and cloudy. Today, it'll be cloudy with a forecasted high of 28 and a low of 16. Due to current wind conditions, it feels like it's 15. Have a good one. Here's your morning news update. Another beautiful morning. Let me first start off by saying it's Saturday. But when y'all see this, it's going to be Valentine's Day. So I'm going to go ahead and say happy Valentine's Day to everybody to start off with. Good morning. Another beautiful morning. Look at the creek. I'm liking how it looks easily visible. And it's still got a little bit of ice in it and snow. So it looked kind of like a nice winter morning day. <laughs> That's what it is. So I told you I'm trying to work on the way so that uh, I can start waking up on the right side of the bed and try and predict it and make it happen. And I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Hold on, let's look at this for a second and listen to it. That sounded amazing. And it looked dope. All right, so I said I woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. Literally, I did. So we all stayed up last night watching TV together. We're in the man cave on the couch and we all fall asleep on the couch. Hey, the couch was killing my back. I mean, we all was watching. So what were we watching? Because we normally don't do stuff like that, especially not to where we fall asleep. But Kevin Hart got a TV show that comes on on TV, but it's a YouTube original. And uh, it's called Get Active. And the only reason I'm telling you about this is because it is a Get Active channel. And it kind of is funny to me because I, I don't know. Some people might have been with me long enough to know that I tried to do a barbershop talk. And after I tried to do a barbershop talk, then all of a sudden it seemed like LeBron James came up with barbershop talk, which it was good because what I'm saying is he had a bigger platform and much easier way to do it. And just like these videos, those videos were very long and I mean, they still up, but ain't a whole lot of people watching right now. And so what I realized is I have to develop the platform and then once the platform is is there, then we can have barbershop talks or I would have to do regular barbershop talks. But the problem with doing regular barbershop talks is don't nobody want to talk to somebody who ain't got nobody to talk to. <laughs> what I'm saying is I can't get a guest to come on a show that ain't a show. It's like, they like, you want to use my celebrity to create your celebrity. And it's like, well, I guess I got to create my celebrity so I can get to their celebrity. <laughs> That's basically what it boiled down to. I mean, people want to talk, but then you can't get people together. I'm saying, if I can get this show to take off, I guarantee people will make time for me then. <laughs> Everybody will make time for me then. Then we'll have a show. And, it's, and see, that's what I'm saying. If somebody with fame came out and did exactly what I'm doing, oh, this junk would be a hit. Hey, but for somebody like me, you got to work at this junk. <laughs> hey, but what I'm saying is, I'm glad I don't have to work at it. I just enjoy doing what I'm doing. Luckily, this is fun. I'd love to see somebody come out here and have me interview them while we walking through this. <laughs> Hey, that would be a horrible interview for me to start off with. And I guarantee you while they out here walking with me, they would be getting winded and probably slipping and falling everywhere. My kids have a hard time holding conversation with me out here. But I love it. Hey, it's Saturday, so I can play around a little bit more than normal. In my opinion, I ain't got to go to work today. Hey, y'all know I'm something special. I'm a barber. It's Saturday. Tomorrow, Valentine's Day, and I'm still out here playing in the creek talking about I ain't going to work. What I'm saying is, that's how your boy look at life. Money don't move me. My experiences do. What I'm saying is, 
I get way more out of the interaction with another person than I do out of the payment. So basically what I'm saying is when a person comes to my barbershop, if I like you, my goal is to one day cut hair for free. I'm serious. I love cutting hair. I ain't going to cut hair for free right now because it just be dumb. I, I got to find some way to pay for all this stuff. <laughs> but what I'm saying is once I get there, I'm cutting hair for free for orphans all day, every day. Well, I'm not going to overwork myself. But what I'm saying is that's going to be my goal. I mean, it's going to be. It is. It always has been. I want to cut hair for free for orphans. I actually want to have the orphanage. I don't know. Come, I, Hey, I, I would like to have an orphanage myself. I don't think nobody should be left behind. I guess what I'm saying is, hey, when I figure all this out, I'm going to let y'all know, though. And it's coming. Look, what I'm saying is, something's got to be working. I'm a barber who don't have to work on Saturdays, the day before thanks, uh, before Valentine's Day. Hey, I'm the barber who ain't worked the day before Christmas. You know what I'm saying? Hey, everybody with me is on a set schedule, and they know it. And they love it. And I love it, too. Because I get to be out here doing this. What I'm saying is, for those barbers who are out there just cutting randomly, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. I respect it if you have a life that allows that, but I don't. My life cannot be controlled by others. The military showed me that. Oh, that was tough, but I made it through it. That was tough. Very tough. But I made it through it. And that's a blessing, because, boy, I say, it wasn't my doing. <laughs> it wasn't. I'm telling you, deployments to daggone just having to hold my tongue. It was not my doing. Oh, my goodness. I apologize if any of my superiors are, are watching this right now. I apologize. Yeah, I was a tough individual to deal with. Hey, but we made it through it. That's all I'm saying. We made it through it. Hey, and if you was one of my subordinates... I feel like y'all had it pretty good because I feel like I've always been a lenient person, but I wouldn't get in your ass, wouldn't I? <laughs> hey, I appreciate y'all for putting up with me. And I feel like y'all always gave me the best gifts. I appreciate it. Much love, much respect to every last one of y'all who watching, if you watching. What I'm saying is, I don't feel like I ever had a problem with anybody. I'm glad I was able to make it as far as I did because I know I've been different my whole life. It was hard. It was hard. Especially in my early career. I should have never made it to my first enlistment. Hey, I don't know how I did. Man, as I got higher in my career, I used to sit down and talk to first sergeants and be like, hey, so how many time should a person be late before you know they get kicked out well the first sergeants would be giving me the answer and i'm sitting here thinking okay i hear i hear your book answer but what's your real answer like what's your if you care about people answer and they would look at me and give me the same answer and i'm like oh my goodness how have i made it this far <laughs> hey look i'm late for this morning walk <laughs> hey your boy used to be late and especially in ooh, the beginning of my career. Oh my goodness. Hey, if you're one of my clients, you experience it, I'll be late all the time. What I'm saying is, I'm a different kind of person. Things don't start till I get there. So how could I be late? I don't mean that wrong. What I'm saying is, has anybody ever noticed? It's like you're in a world by yourself half the time. I don't know if anybody's at the creek until I get there. <laughs> how was how it a party before I showed up? <laughs> I'm just joking, y'all. I ain't so centered like that. But, I mean, when you think about it, it wasn't lit until you got there. Only reason you know if it was lit now is 
you can see what somebody else saw. But when it comes down to barbering, what I'm saying is, I like for my clients to be used to that. What I'm saying is, I'm the only barber who I feel like I get that kind of pressure. You'll go in another barber shop and sit for hours. And then people will look at me and think, well, Shaw, that's different because I'm on an appointment. And I think it's not. And the reason I say this is because to me, the time slot is to say you are next in my, like, like pulling the number. But who has pulled a number? I'm not gonna sit here and watch people as they pull numbers. What I'm saying is when a person sit in my chair, I'm gonna take as long as needed to cut their hair. I'm saying, hey, any of my clients will tell you, if I'm running behind by 30 minutes, you sit in my chair, if your hair take another hour, I'm still gonna be behind another 30 minutes. I don't care. I don't cut on none of my clients, I don't skimp. What I'm saying is, if the person behind them is mad at me, they normally mad at me until they get in the chair. That's how people's worlds work. Once they being taken care of, they be happier. And once they see their final result, they be the happiest and we can get past it. But what I'm saying is everybody has to understand it's not just your perspective. I know y'all just made you late. Yeah, but if I would have rushed, I would have made the person before you ugly. What's more important to me? I got to make sure the person before you don't be ugly. <laughs> You're going to be late. You see how I value being late. What I'm saying is time is irrelevant to me. Time only exists because man made it be so. Time don't matter. But the way a person walks out my shop feeling, that does matter to me. What I'm saying is if I waste your time, I'm going to try and make it up to you before you leave. And if I can't make it up to you, I'm going to say sorry and we're going to part ways. But I don't say sorry much. And it ain't because I don't believe it. it don't, I'm saying it ain't necessary if you always be straightforward and honest. I made a mistake. I'm a person who always tries to get better. If you don't believe that, hey, we ain't got nothing to talk about. What you want? You want your money back? What? You want a free haircut? I'll give it to you. But once you get it, you're done. <laughs> We're done. Hey, I didn't had so I, I didn't say so many. I had a guy ask me for his money back. The next day, he told me he was in the chair. He said, "Oh, that's fresh." He said, "Ah, it's a little bit different than what I'm used to in the back." Now, let me give y'all a little bit of info on this. This happened. Uh, um, a guy calls me up. I break every rule in the book, and this is what I mean when I say don't do things. Don't bend over backwards for others because it only ends up biting you in the back. So, in the behind. So anyway, this individual calls me up. Asks me if I can get him in. This is way back when. I don't do this no more. If you're listening, just understand. Don't call me and ask for an appointment. So, he asked for an appointment. He calls me up. I'm like, oh, it's Monday. I ain't doing nothing. He sounded like a good dude. He, he's hyping me up, telling me how much he liked my work. He saw, you know, two brothers and a friend at a wedding and they all had one of my cuts on them. And he said he loved it and he was new to the area. So then I'm like, man, I got you. You didn't hype me up. You speak in my language. Come on in. Come in. He's a person who's fighting what's naturally happening to him. This is when things get hard for me. I want y'all to understand this. I'm the type of person who I believe what's intended to be is what's intended to be. I get it, if you're hiding something, it's okay. But what I'm saying is, your hair does not make you who you are. So, don't keep fighting to hold on to something that is fleeting, let it go. Move on, don't let that burden you or bother you. Well, this individual, he's fighting, going bald, and he wants me to do like, you know, colors and stuff. And I'm like, nah, I don't do that kind of stuff. And he's like, oh, all right. So we go through, we do a normal haircut. I show him, I at the time was doing this little arching effect in the back of a haircut. 
all three guys that were at the wedding had that on their head. That's how I do every haircut. Well, at least back then I was. And he comes in and he tells me, he sees these three brothers. I'm thinking, well, this is how I cut their hair. So I do the same thing on him. He's like, oh, it looks good. He said, but I'm just not used to the way that back looks. And I'm like, I mean, that's how the, the brother's hair works. He was like, oh, well, I'm like, okay, look, how you ahead of this? He's like, I mean, it looks, it looks pretty good. I'm just not used to it. I was like, all right, well, hold on. Now. So he's like, oh, I'm just not used to it. I'm like, all right. So he, uh, he pays with a credit card. The guy gives me a tip. I'm like, you know, thank you. He's like, oh, it really looks good. He said, the bag just looks a little, I mean, he said, it looks good, but I'm just not used to it. I'm like, well, you know his hair, it grew back. So he leaves. I said he gave me a tip. The next day he calls me up and he's like, hey, uh, Shaw, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really not feeling the back of my head. Like, I'm not, I'm like, okay, what, like, what do you, what do you want me to do? He's like, uh, I just wanted to know, uh, if I could get my money back, I'm like, you want your money back? Or, I'm like, sure. He's like, I don't really mean any problems about it or anything. I was like, no problem. I was working though. So I was like, all right, I'll send it back. So when I got done working, I sent it back to him and I called him and told him, I said, Hey, I refunded you your money. And, uh, I'm sorry, yeah. Hear that woodpecker. I'm like, I refunded your money. He said, oh man, that was quick. He said, that was quick. He said, he said, hey, Shaw, you know, I, I really enjoy your services and everything. So I'm going to be booking another appointment with you. He said, I just want to make sure next time we just don't. And I was like, what? I was like, whoa, 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 buddy. Like, it, you didn't like, the, you don't like the way that I cut. Why would you book another appointment with me? He's like, what? No, I like the way you cut. He said, I just didn't like the way this, and I said, whoa, so, so, wait, you got your money back. You wanted your money back, and what, you want me to try again for free? That's ridiculous to me. It's like, why not just go and find another barber? It's like people try to fit square pegs in round holes. It's like, look, you're not going to teach me how to cut the way that you want me to cut. You saw my work. This is how I work. If you don't like the way a person works, don't force them. Go and find another barber. Does that make sense? That was a stressful event. Oh man. I don't know if this is a, a learning lesson or me complaining, but this was years ago, people. Years ago. <laughs> Let's go over here and check this out right quick. Hey, I don't know. I told y'all I woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. And I, did I tell y'all why? Yeah, I did. Well, my wife came and woke me up and I was on her side of the bed since she wasn't in the bed with me when I went to sleep last night. <laughs> so I got woke up abruptly. And your boy ain't happy about getting, I was, I was sleeping peacefully. And then she said, move over. <laughs> I'm just joking, y'all. Well, I'm technically not. But that ain't what made me wake up on the wrong side of the bed, I don't, I don't think. <laughs> hey, I don't feel like I woke up on, I don't feel like I ever wake up on the wrong side of the bed. And I tell you, hey, the wrong side of the bed don't last long after I come out here. <laughs> and even it feels like, like since I slept, fell asleep on the couch, and kind of like on top of miles at the same, I feel like, like I got aches and pains in places I wouldn't normally. And coming out here and looking at this creek, it makes me like stretch. Like y'all can see my feet right now. And it's like, I'm stretching. See? And every time I do that, I feel like that kind of loosens me up. Maybe that's what loosens me up for the day. Hey, maybe I'm learning. Maybe it's not so much about the way that I go to sleep as much as it is about what I get up and do in the morning. Maybe I just learned a valuable lesson right here today with y'all. <laughs> hey, well, if I'm learning, I hope y'all learning it too. What did y'all do today? 
What did y'all do yesterday that prepared you for today or made you in a better position for today? What do you plan on doing today to put you in a better position for tomorrow? Hey, what I plan on doing today, I plan on going to Costco with the family. I'm going to get me some boxes because it ain't nothing better than Costco boxes to burn. Boy, that get, the, that get them barrel started so good. So, yes, I enjoy going to Costco. I'm a very weird person like that, y'all. I, I don't care. I admit it. I like going to Costco because it's a good place to get my step count in. Speaking of that, let me see how many steps I got. I got 3,008. Right, here go that tree again. <laughs> I love this. It's like I am hitting the exact same spots every day. Hey, yesterday my camera cut off on me. It didn't cut off on me. I made it all the way to where I was going and I stopped it. Oh, a lot of people be coming out here now. This is nice though. I like that because now I can see where we walk. See, I would have thought that was snow a couple days ago. But we knew it wasn't. Ooh. Ooh, broke it. And push off. Yep. So now we know exactly where it is. And that'll be gone tomorrow. But yeah, so my camera cut off yesterday halfway through or not halfway through i had like five minutes left and i just was on the trails but you didn't miss some of my talking i feel like when that happens that's like the information y'all wasn't supposed to hear like i rambled like maybe today y'all won't hear the whole first half of this video where i'm complaining about that guy <laughs> i don't feel like that's a complaint i feel like the point of that story was only time you end up getting hurt or bothered is when you go outside of what you would normally do for somebody else i'm saying if somebody asks me to do something at six o'clock in the morning and i know i need this like people need their morning coffee their morning routine you have to give them their space if you don't give them the ability to get their day up and going like calling people first thing in the morning remember back in the day when there was, well, most of y'all probably won't. When there was phones on the wall, there was like a respectable time that you contacted somebody. Like, it used to be, don't call my house after, and there was a set time. Now, nowadays you have to have things on your phone, like set your phone to silent, or uh, what is it called when you tell, some, tell somebody, or, or you put it on, uh, like a sleep mode so that nobody can contact you for certain times look people think that i'm like tech savvy i'm saying i like editing videos that's like a person who likes to write lyrics or a person who likes to make beats i mean that's what i do i don't check emails at all i very rarely check text messages <laughs> and social media if you dm me Man, I'll never see it. I'm saying I get DMs and I don't read them. I don't. I like comments because that's one place I know I can always go <laughs> and see everything. I feel like I'm saying I tell people if you want to text me, you probably be better off leaving me a comment. <laughs> And it really don't matter what video, I'm going to see it. But now, that's getting difficult too. I ain't going to lie. I'm sorry I said that. Ooh. Hey, well, I appreciate the comments, but I ain't going to lie. I get up in the morning and I look at them and I'm like, ooh, that's a lot. So what I do now is I try and find the people who always communicate with me. And I make sure I at least communicate with them. Because y'all always be there and I appreciate it, y'all. I'm dead serious. I don't expect y'all to be there all the time, but I appreciate that y'all do. What I've noticed, and I'm going to be honest, is this is how it goes, it seems like. It's like every once in a while, it was one person who motivated me and talked to me. And after that one person talked to me, then it was like, hey, that one person left. And it was like, oh, man. And just when I would lose my motivation again, it seemed like one person would speak to me again. And now that I've stuck with it for so long, I'm saying, y'all, 
I've jumped out of YouTube. But now I've been over for, on for over two years now solid, trying to figure out how to do things the easiest, the best, and to communicate the best. And I'm saying it's been a long process and this might not be the most interesting and I understand. But what I'm saying is this is part of a process that's really working for me because I'm still trying to edit more than one prop, more than one video at a time because I want to be able to do multiple projects. And right now I still can't do that. I don't know how. I'm learning it though. But I have too much footage, not enough storage space, not enough good cameras, never enough time. I have all the things that make it so the average person would say it can't be done. Oh, I got people ahead of me. And what I'm saying is, I'm trying to be proof that it can be done. And I feel like I'm getting there. I'm just not getting there at the speed that others will get there. But you know why I ain't getting there at the speed that others get there? Because I'm walking. If I started running, I bet you I would get there faster. And I don't mean that literally. What I'm saying is, if I took the time to try and do my best on every single video and just like, hey, I'm gonna step away from barbering and do it. This is just it. I quit barbering, I'm full time. What I'm saying is, I'm trying to learn balance because I feel like anything that's done over a long and stable process, it's more likely to succeed. Things that grow quick, they normally fall quick. And the reason why is because they never build a good foundation. It's like one hit wonders. Yeah, you, you get a one hit and it becomes so big, but then you never have anything to support that. It would be better to have multiple hits, just one hit per CD, because you, at least you'll make other songs sound like they're hits. I'm saying the reason why you love one CD so much is because there was a hit on there that brought you to it. And then you found other things that you thought were hits. That's how most of the time it goes. I'm saying what I'm noticing from YouTube is I got one or two videos, a video every now and then, maybe I'll say one or two a year. This year I'm off to a better start than last year, but some of last year's videos are some of my best performers. And I'm saying they bring people to look around. So that lets me know I got to do a combination of both good videos and long videos because I'm not going to be a short. I'm, I'm saying, how could somebody be getting active with me in a 10 minute period and feel good about it? Well, 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 <laughs> hey, good morning, y'all. Your boy mine a little different. <laughs> That's not how I think. <laughs> Well, I tried. Hey, let me stay focused. I'm saying this kind of get active. Yes, if I was running, maybe lifting weights, what I'm saying, I'm all about cardio and I feel like this is a good cardio exercise. I'm saying get on your treadmill and get some steps in. If you can't get out the house, that's what I'm doing. I can get out the house and as long as I can get out the house, I'm going to. I think I could do it. Rain, sleet, or snow, and so far I've been right. I haven't seen a day where I thought it was too bad that I couldn't come out. Now, I'm not saying that's not possible. I don't see myself messing around out here too much if it's lightning going on. That's just not gonna happen. But it don't seem like it'd be lightning too much in the mornings. That might be the only thing that stops me. But hey, you never know. Depending on how I feel that day, I'm saying it seems like my mood tends to go with the weather. I wonder how it's gonna be when they get hot out here. I mean, it'll never be too hot. I'm the type of person who wear pants all, <laughs> all, year, all year long, so military put me onto that one. But anyway, uh, ooh. Uh, I just love this area. It looks, this looks amazing to me. Hey, I don't know if I told y'all one of my clients, he came in yesterday. Me and him shared the same birthday. He asked me yesterday what I be cutting on, my, on our birthday. <laughs> I said, I sure would, brother. I will be cutting. If it's on, I told you, I don't care what day it's on. It, I will be cutting. And since it's his birthday, 
Hey, he get his cut for free. He been with me so long. Hey, that don't mean everybody get their haircut. I don't give cuts out for free. I give loyalty free haircuts. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That brother been with me so long. I'm talking about he was like a ninth grader when he came. Now this man a grown man. Grown, grown. We cutting, we trimming this beard and it's looking legit, brother. Hey, keep it up. Young man's doing amazing things. He's got his head on right. He's going in the right direction. Hey, so this is where I want to end it. I hope this has been another beautiful morning walk for everybody. It was a beautiful morning walk for me. I know some people, this is their first time ever coming and seeing me. I hope I ain't let you down. I ain't let me down. I ain't concerned if I let you down. There's no such thing as letting you down. You could have left a long time ago. <laughs> I don't mind if people jump out. I feel like people should come and get what they need. If you ain't coming and getting what you need, I understand that you don't come back. But I expect others to come back because I'm gonna keep coming every day. Every day that I have a, a, the ability to be out here, I'm gonna be out here for you. What I'm saying is this is motivation for me. I'm talking to myself, literally. Literally, I'm talking to myself. I need the motivation for myself. That's why I do this. Then I share it with y'all. But first I have to go back and watch it, but I'm not gonna edit it, but I do go back and watch it. And I might lay something over top of it if it means something to me. But if it don't, I ain't. A lot of times when I lay stuff over top of my videos, that's me clearing my phone out because I always be running out of space and you gotta understand why I shoot videos like this. Anyway, I hope y'all do something that's gonna better yourselves today. Get up, get out, get active. Do something to improve on you. That's gonna be the best way to improve on your situation and to improve on those around you. I'm saying first, you gotta be the best you. Mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, and always. Figure out how to get the best you. You have to be balanced in all areas. This is how I do it. <laughs> Remove some of the clutter from your head. Find some time for you. Don't distract. Don't let any distractions. You have to have a moment in your day where there's no distractions for you. One moment. Take a moment of silence. People call it meditation. People call it, call it whatever you want to. Do it for you. I'm not trying to push people into religion, but I do believe. And I'm saying, if you don't, I'm not here to push you into that. What I'm saying is, I'm here to make, help you become a better person. And I feel like that's the real requirement right there. Just being a better person. That's what we need in this world right now. Hey, y'all, uh, I ain't gonna talk no more. Your boy getting too deep. I love each and every one of y'all. This was another morning walk. Hey, this your boy, and I'm out.